for just a minute though you know we're talking about extension but i just want to make sure that i'm clear on um what exactly was extended <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. yeah what exactly was extended so that not only me but you know those that are interested and, and have a concern maybe they haven't had time because they're so busy providing care right. uh be able to understand what it is that that has been extended and how can that help them how can that benefit them Perfect. Thanks, Rhonda, for bringing us back to this. We can start talking about public policy. We got a lot. I, I just need to be clear. <laughs> <laughs> so three basic things. One, all federal student loan interest rates are at 0%. Amazing, okay. right? Typically, wow. anybody that has a loan or a loved one with a loan, usually five, six, seven percent interest rates on these loans are high. Yes. So during COVID, um, those interest rates are are at zero, so it's spectacular. So especially these large physician loans, you know, if you owe 300,000, your monthly interest that's accruing if it's at 6% is probably, I don't know, 2000 bucks, right? Yeah. So See, that's a big accrues, deal. Yeah, yeah. Uh, quickly for them. And, the and thing, just to make sure I understand the detail on that, uh, there's no interest accrual during COVID? Is there some right. point where it, it starts? Yep, it will start. It's so we've had these three extensions, and this last one they've called a final extension. I think so All that right. people, you know, aren't going to be pushing for more. I think, you know, who knows if it is a final extension or not, but that's what they termed it. Um, and so it's. But called, I suppose nobody knows who declares when it's over and when to start the clock again, or do we know? Right. Do we have any? The date clue? is January thirty first, twenty twenty two. Okay. Okay. So we've got a few more months. <clears throat> for this to continue to be in effect. Okay. So it's a great, and then the second thing with the mm -hmm. COVID relief is that all payments are paused. So there are no payments due on federal student loans. Okay. So now what this would mean for a physician would be, the phys they're still optional. You may make your student loan payment, but payment. you aren't required to. And so if you're pursuing, for example, a forgiveness plan like public service loan forgiveness or one of the income driven repayment plan forgivenesses, mm -hmm. um, it's in your interest to not pay because anything you pay will increase what you pay and reduce what you're forgiven. So for folks that are pursuing, especially these would be physicians that are employed by a nonprofit uh, healthcare system, for example, or a nonprofit clinic or a governmental clinic or a tribal clinic, all of those physicians and their colleagues are eligible for public service loan forgiveness. And if that is you, if you're listening, you're listening today, um, it's in your interest not to make payments. If you have made any payments since March 13th, 2020, and you're pursuing public service loan forgiveness, you can ask for a refund of those payments. Wow. So check wow. this out. Mm -hmm. I talked to a doctor a couple of months ago that didn't know that, right? And so she'd been making her payments and she'd made, I don't know, less than 10, but they were large, you know, payments. And uh, so she got $7,000 back and she's going to buy a new dining room set. So <laughs> that was her plan, her COVID relief plan. Take, take care uh, of a more immediate need. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that tells us, right, that like, especially the young early career physicians, they're feeling behind on a lot of things. Right. Right. They've, yeah. They put off a lot of things from planning for retirement to buying a house to driving an old you know, car that's not reliable and maybe having a dining room set that just didn't feel happy to them. You know, this was these are the things that they're facing. It's true stuff. Yeah. Or, or maybe wow. buying a dining room set for the first time and I'm not eating off a TV right. tray. Right. Yeah. You know, exactly. I mean, it's an it's immediate need yeah. I'm setting up yeah. so that I can continue yeah. to live. But, you know, what strikes me about that is that, you know, Randy, you started with the comment, it's a good thing. And, and I agree with you. I think it's a good, it's a good thing. And if nothing else, at the end of the day, it provides some, some, some kind of hope or an exhale or relief or something that just kind of helps you go on and continue to yeah. go in shift after shift after shift after shift to just help support. But <clears throat> with, with that, what I'm, I'm curious about is how many folks out there really have any knowledge or have had the time to actually know about this 
uh, be educated about it and actually be coached okay. as to when it is uh, beneficial or when it's not beneficial. Because to right. me, that's counterintuitive. If I have a loan, right. yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm in the the habit of I make my payments, yeah. and why would that not be a good thing for me right. to do that? So, right. you know, I, I just find it not only. Um, uh, just something to ponder as to mm -hmm. whether or not the our you know the way we we deliver information is providing yeah. the full yeah. amount of information um, and and providing direction to resources such as yourself on mm -hmm. finding out what is it for you personally in in mm -hmm. your in your plan that is going to be best for you. Yeah. I don't know that there's enough information out there. That that's my totally. gut. That's my instinct. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I could be wrong, two, but <laughs> no, I totally, totally, and that makes me reflect back on all the problems with the loan servicing companies because one of their biggest uh, errors or illegal activities was giving insufficient education or giving bad information to their oh. borrowers. Mm -hmm. So let me just say that the best place to go right now for good advice about student loans is studentaid.gov. And surprisingly, this is a government website and it's spectacular, studentaid.gov. And they have it set up so that there's a banner at the top that has updates on the COVID relief on student loans. Oh, that's great. And so it is the perfect place and it's written in common English, not like legalese. Mm -hmm. um, they've really done a spectacular job of- um, Breaking it down. Yeah, creating a place to go and yeah. then with excellent information that's easy to understand. And then to your point, Rhonda, um, even with excellent information that's easy to understand, it's sometimes hard to apply it to your own situation, right? Yeah, just yeah. So what does that mean in my world? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And so that would be the time to call someone like us um, to help out with your student loans. And, you know, we're always happy to do that. 